Alright everyone, welcome back to Dragon Ball Z League Season 7, Week 7, Episode 2. I am your host, Squee, joined by Piff. I'm here. Yes, and I I had to fix all of the versus screens. Like this one right here. <gasps> Let's see if it works. The Blades versus the Saiyans. Now the Blades are at 2 and 4, and the Saiyans are at 2 and 4. Um, both of them tied, or both of them either in last place or tied for last place of their team, so I'm sure that both of these teams would love some wins to start climbing the ranks. Let's see who's got more hearts and more gusto. It is the Blades versus the Saiyans. So, I don't know about you. Mm hmm. Period. I know exactly what you mean. What? T tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm an Aquarius. Okay. Uh, I like long walks on the beach, except when Witness the grass come out. So, so far you're a dolphin. Got that. Mm. And I'm actually an Aquarius. Uh, I know my real zodiac at the moment. Unlike most people. <gasps> you throw, are you throwing yeah. down logic? I'm throwing down the gauntlet. Most people <laughs> are not the zodiac. They think they are. Look it up, folks. Google it. So what he's actually talking about, for the most part, is the ideal that the the star alignments that you're born under are actually not the ones of the way back times because of the shift of the Earth. The Earth is on an axis tilt. The tilts and changes. <laughs> so when the zodiacs were made, the stars were one place. Now they're another. But no one seemed to take that into account. So guess what, folks? All those horoscopes that you thought it would pertain to you, they didn't. <laughs> You've made all your life choices on lies. <laughs> I don't even know what my sign is. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg Tao and Raditz actually fairly even right now. Now you die. Oh so and Cyborg Tao, mm -hmm. a man who just cannot lose. We've seen this week after week. He can't lose. It's impossible. Um. What? And, um... <laughs> what? What's your definition of lose, exactly? Uh, same as Cyborg Towers. What? No, but what is it? <laughs> it's the thing that he can't do. Yes, I understand, but what? It's Define the it definition. for me. You, you can't, can't use if... the word in the definition. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Squeak, there's nothing more or less to it. He's the man who can't lose. He's Cyborg Tau. I think that is the definition. He's cyborg down. Um, there's just someone in chat saying that uh, I don't know a lot about astrology, but I know there's people that explain why what we said isn't true. They can't explain it, my friend. It's it's simple physics. The rotation tilts. The stars are in different places. There's no... Unless you want to go with some yes, but it's spiritually the same, which would make no sense because it was based off of where the stars were. Uh, I, I, there's, 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 yeah. Raditz <laughs> beating sword trunks. I, I will say that there is some merit mm -hmm. about actually keeping old traditions as they were. Mm -hmm. Now, the reasons behind them may have changed to a completely different axis. Yeah, but see, here's my problem. If the whole point of the, 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 the Zodiac, the horoscope, was because your stars are in a certain area, therefore you're a certain person, if those stars aren't actually in that area, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? No, Squee. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, okay, this is I'm gonna take. I'm going to take my logic and I'll just go home. The stars are actually in the same place. We are the ones who move. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So, back to the match. <laughs> King Vegeta's out. Okay, I guess now that we're done with the star talk, yeah, he's not interested yeah. anymore. <laughs> I just came for the stock. I didn't come here for the show. It's very important to me about the stars. This is where I came from. I need to find my planet again. <laughs> Final spirit cannon? Holy crap. And that was... Well, Trunks stood no chance there. So, 
I've I've been actually thinking about um, the term space and outer space. Uh huh. And how it's actually really interesting on the definitions of such things. Because technically both of them are for Earth, like where we live and stuff like that. But uh -huh. if we go outside of that, um, the definitions don't quite hold up. Uh huh. So space is pretty much everything. It includes Earth. Outer space is the non-inclusion of Earth. Right. But if somebody says, um, look up to outer space uh, anywhere other than Earth, they would probably be wrong. <laughs> I, I think, though, that outer space also does not include planets. Like, if you were on Mars, you wouldn't be in outer space. You'd be on Mars. Hmm. Oh. But, to refute your point, I'm wearing pajama pants. Well, yeah, but that's what Yajirobe is doing. Oh, he missed! Nice dodge from Bardock! He's, he is in his full-on pajamas. He doesn't even need pants. F pants. He's got his robe on. Yajirobe. It's, it's not pajamas. It's called uh, kimono. And uh, all geisha wear it, Piff, like Yajirobe. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. The hate. Yajirobe's not a geisha. He, yeah, he is totally... Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Yajirobe's a geisha. Just let it happen. High speed clash! Cage does not carry swords. Um, that's not a sword. That is a very sharp makeup kit. Oh. Or so sex. Like, Take your choice. Take your choice. Lip balm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Uh huh. I'm, I'm good. All right. <laughs> so it looks like Yajirubi's doing pretty darn well in this. For the most part. I... You could say that, I suppose. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, it looks like this has been a, actually a pretty even brawl so far. With just different types of characters clashing as It they has. Do. It's been very one-on-one. -on -one. Like, the, the fights between the individuals has been really well done. Mm. The, and they've been actually keeping up with each other's HP, almost like person to person, Correct. quite so. Final Revenger, next. Will this be the final Revenger? Well, down goes Yajirobe. You didn't even get a chance to eat a bean. Bye, Bardock. Hi, King Vegeta. Welcome back. Welcome to pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still not talking about stuff, King Vegeta. Uh, so, Jane NBA is the only one left, but I don't think he has to face anyone with max health, so it's still a fairly good fight either way. Uh, obviously, the Saiyans have the tag advantage, though. Mm hmm. The, which is fantastic. That mm -hmm. even just that slight uh, difference in HP, like, uh, let's just say. Um, you're fighting a whole bunch of people, and they're all at one HP, like one health bar, and they couldn't tag. Oh, they an would ultimate! Still have it. <laughs> you got punched out of it! <laughs> Sorry, Piv, you were saying. I was saying, excuse me, that, um, even if there was one person with four health bars against four people with one health bar, um, the person with four health bars would be at a disadvantage because of health buffer. Right where you can do a mass amount of damage and kill somebody, but that extra damage does not translate to the next person. There he goes, Ape! Janimba has plenty of tools to deal with an Ape. Yeah. Oh, uh, not an Ape at max power, though. You just got a sword. No. Super Gallic Gun? No! He's got Sidestep! He's <laughs> got Sidestep! The most powerful move. My, my. I don't... Like, I, I think Jane can do this. Mm -hmm. Jane, like, if, if they don't tag, I think Jane can do this. Because if they do tag, it might be a bit difficult. It, it, oh, no, they have... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Keep going. Keep going. 
No, you said there wasn't anybody else. There's what? I did guy. not say. I never said that. I yes, said you that. Did. No, what I said was I don't think there's anyone else with full health. I was wrong for a completely different reason, Piff. Get it right. <laughs> what? No, I did freaking no. <laughs> it's the same reason. <laughs> no, it's not. Different How words equal different reasons. Oh my. This might be it. That's it. So, and Vegeta didn't even have to the ground, and we continue the uh, the devastation of teams this week. The Saiyans with a very dominant victory over the Blades. The Saiyans going up to three and four. The Blades falling to two and five. All right, on to the next match. We've Squeeze, got before you start, I've been having terrible choppy frame things. I've been seeing a thing for like one every like half a minute or something like that. Look, yes. All right, give me one second. Stop right. the sharing. Start the sharing. Um, and to address it, like the chat has had like a, a huge conversation <laughs> while we were doing this. Um, the saying that uh, the, the stars, the, the, the astronomy is still fine because what was important was the periods of time, not the stars themselves. But that's not quite true either because in ancient, uh, I think it was Greece, um, they thought that the stars was what gave you your personality. The alignment and the position of the stars was what gave you the personality. So that explanation doesn't quite jive either. But enough of that, because we've got the Valkyries versus the Boos. The Valkyries at four and two, the Boos at three and three. Fairly even in the win-loss record column, Valkyrie is only one win away from tying the Dragon Ball Warriors. So if they can pull off a win here and the Dragon Ball Warriors lose, they could be uh, tied for the top of their division. The Boos, on the other hand, are tied for second place in East Kai and really far behind the Gohans. Even if they win today, there's still going to be a match behind the Gohans. So they have a long way to claw to get to the top of their division. Uh, and not too far to fall to be at the bottom of their division. I, honestly, I think that they'd more want to win just to try and start distancing themselves from the Blades. But, yeah. What do you think, Piff? Well, I don't know. It looks like the Valkyries have quite good skills, but then again, their opponent can regenerate. Any Goku uses Super Saiyan Boom? And I uh, spirits. Well done. Well, I think that was well articulated and very thoughtful. So, the Valkyries versus the Boobs. No, hold on. See, it's weird because Oob's in there, but he's the reincarnation of the Boobs. But all the Boobs are just themselves. So who's the real boo? What? Who's the real boo? Um. Hey, play with me. Her. Show me what you've got. Am I right? They get it? I don't know. I don't. I can't see where you're pointing. No, no her. I said her. Not here. Not. That wasn't like a get over <laughs> here. Over here. Right over her. Right over here. Right over here. <laughs> No, I Is really meant her. her. <laughs> <laughs> her over Durr. Right over Durr. And um, a very even fight so far. Uh, no! What I meant to say was a Rayleigh in the lead by a barbell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yikes. My god. Yeah, I was actually surprised that hit. That was a long stretch. <laughs> well, a really can go the distance. It I is know true. Her. <laughs> we all know she can. And ooh, trying to catch up here. Only half a bar behind now. Oh, but a really behind him with the melee combo. Oh, blocked. Blocked again. <laughs> can you believe how many blocks are happening right now? I could make a tower out of these blocks. I'm very impressed with Oob right now. I mean, to go like this against Rayleigh, not bad. Yes, very, very good. Let me actually give a trigger to build and see what he's all about. He's actually going to take her down, and he does it. Oob takes down a Rayleigh. 
Yeah, with a furious freaking melee build. Wow, look at that melee build. That's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, sp uh, attack up to serious quick fast attack, dragon power, light body. That is a solid offensive build. And Pan don't care. Pan gonna... Uh, she's actually taking a lot of damage already, so... Yeah. Pan don't care because she's delirious. <laughs> Kalamami Hob, Blazing Fist Barrage, and she tr did not get it off in time. Goob's doing some damage. Indeed. Which is the exact opposite of what Pan's trying to do. She has a defense build. Defense plus two, Dragon Power, Latent Energy, Light Body. She is trying to stick in there and do some damage. And this isn't good for her, though. I mean, she's a defense build sacrificing melee strength, and that's all she's done so far is try and do melee. Mm -hmm. um, I'm there. They might be actually trying to focus on uh, clashing with her, mm -hmm. which is um, something that can be really good. Uh, main problem is other characters may also have dragon power, so that might cancel what she's trying to go for out. Nice counter by Tan. Gill Missile blocked by Boo. Which Boo? The evil one. The <laughs> evil one. It's the true Boo. <laughs> Pan, actually, her best thing to do right now would be to tag out. Okay, never mind. Fight a little bit more, launch off a of B2, <laughs> and then tag out. Actually, what I would like you to do is spin around three times, go up into the air. <laughs> Click your ruby shit slippers together. And say, there's no place like killing people for the sake of others. There's no place. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Pan is down, and the Vowels are not doing well. No. They are down to two fighters, Trunks and 18, versus Evil Boo. Um, well, I think that's a... We got Shida in there? Yeah, there's a mid Vegeta, and there's a kid boo, and there's an evil boo. Yeah, so not looking good for the Vals. Mm mm. Though the Trunks and 18 still could make a fight of it. Not calling this one yet by any means. I like to call. Especially if someone pissed off 18. Ring ring. No pit. Ring ring. No pit. That they're not going to pick up. They're in the middle of a fight. Hello? There's no one, Piff, no one picked up. I'm, this is one of the announcers, the more important one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm calling this match. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> With all of my soul. <laughs> oh, Trunks walked right into that one, flew, technically, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and okay, he walked into things. another one, Trunks! What are you doing? Okay. And Evil Boo is done. <laughs> he wanted his dad. <laughs> his dad just wanted to get a few links in. Wait, evil Boo has dodged. a dad? I need to know who no. the real Boo is. Trunks. <laughs> Trunks has a dad. Is it Boo? No, it's not Boo. I think. I don't know, I'm so confused now. <laughs> it's all up to 18. I, I I like 18. I don't think she can do this. I don't think she's going to take down Vegeta and Kid Boo and what's left of Evil Boo. No. It's no, not no. going to happen. And I think we're going to have our fourth trounce of the week. What is going on this week? I what don't the know. <laughs> There's been no close matches so far. It is. It has been just... Freaking the the worst. There, there hasn't been a match yet where everyone's even been forced to step on the field. Yeah, yeah. There, there's been like characters that have just not come out in every single match. Now this one might be different. 18's actually putting up a really good fight. Unyielding yeah. Spirit does not get. She does not pull it off. It is a Vegeta. It is. He's an aggressive son of a gun. Mm -hmm. Luckily, she's also an android, which is also aggressive because she doesn't have to charge. Full power and a max power dodged. What? Why? 18, <laughs> you dodged it. What? 18? 
Oh, maybe oh, maybe she was giving him more credit. He's like, obviously that's just there to distract me. And the real attack it was the real attack. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes, max power. Again, this has been really like good single like wall on ones, but it has been. like the team overall just wow. And here we go, the first match of the week where all the players on both teams have actually had to step <laughs> on the field. It's a momentous occasion. <laughs> I don't know. Only halfway through the week. <laughs> Infinity Bullet? No! <laughs> Kid Boo punches out of it and it's over. And again, another beatdown. The Boos with a real? dominant victory over the Valkyries. The Boos going up to 4 and 3. The Vows falling to 4 and 3. Well. Jeez. All right. I'm I'm really curious to see if we're going to have any close matches this week. I think they hung up on me. Right. Well, we're going to call this quits for this episode. In episode number three, you get to see... <laughs> there he goes, Squee. I guess I'll have to do the rest of this. Ginyu versus the Rugrats is the next match. And the one after that, which is going to be on the same episode, is the Majins versus Derp. Uh, where's the Bundy in this? <laughs>